All right, so let's take a look at uh, creating an array in uh, Swift 2. Really uh, basically the same as if we'd created this in uh, Swift 1, but uh, let's do it again. We're going to say let, and, well, for right now we'll say let, but the, we'll, we'll call it uh, my array, and I'm going to specify that this is going to be an array type, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in here a, a few kind of hard-coded values. Uh, the, which will be the only values inside of here. So uh, just let's put in, um, I don't know, Darth Vader. I'm going to separate each one of these with a comma. Uh, Luke, Han, Leia. I can never remember how to spell Leia's name. And uh, that's not for right now. Okay, so uh, we've got our array, and we can iterate through the items inside of uh, this array anytime that we want. Uh, so, for example, we could say four names in my array, and let's just print out X here. Let's make this actually singular for name in array. So we'll just print out the name and uh, when we build this we should see down here uh, what are you complaining about was no whatever so you can see in the output window that we've got all of our names in order now keep in mind that this is a uh, this is an ordered list that's the nice thing about an array so you know that if you're going to iterate through it uh, and print out every single name it's going to be in that same order uh, that you uh, provided in there uh, another way to access the uh, an item in the array would be to say we could put, uh, print out so we write our array right here my array and then in a opening bracket square bracket you're going to put in here the index number of the item that you want to print out so zero is the first one in there and doo -doo -doo, there we go uh, so obviously we saw Darth Vader's name in here twice because he is the first item in there and watch what happens though if uh, you try to exceed all right the number of items in there so for example it's still gonna let us do that but uh, it is not gonna fail gracefully it says fatal error array index out of range when you see that you know that you tried to pull something out of the array that was just uh, not in there. Now keep in mind you, you're thinking wait there's four things in there and you put in there four but they start at zero so, th so three would actually be the last item in there and you know if you wanted you could do something like this uh, if or yeah let's see now here we go we'll save uh, let last item this is going to be an int this is going to be Oops, my array dot count. So that would actually tell you four, uh, but if you want to know what the last item is going to be, you're going to subtract that one from it, and then you would say print, and then my array, and do your opening brackets, last item. It should make all these errors go away. And let's see what that last item was. Sure enough, we got uh, Leia down there. All right, so uh, that uh, works out nicely. If um, we, uh, we're going to kind of hard code in our values, uh, what we'll do uh, in a moment here is actually append some values in here at uh, runtime. Although one last little thing, let's see if we can do this before. I don't think we can before we change it to a variable. I'm going to say remove all and I would imagine because this is a let it's not going to let us do that. Uh, yep, uh, let is immutable which means uh, that you kind of can't change it. Okay, but if I were to go over here now and say var my array and then switch that back over uh, at this point that very last line has cleared out the array. Now of course I was able to get the values out of it before clearing it but uh, you know, if I had come up here to the top of the file, cleared it out, and then tried to do all that stuff, it's um, it, yeah, it's it wouldn't have cared about this, okay? But it does care about this because I basically took my array dot count, and I, and that's going to equal zero because there's nothing in there right now, and then I subtracted. Uh, one from it, then I tried to print out that last item. But you'll see if um, if I build it again without that in there, of course it's going to complain we're not doing anything with that. But nothing happened here. All right, so let's uh, let's get rid of this, and we 
can get rid of that and uh, let's go ahead and just set up ar our array with um, kind of nothing in it right now but let's specify a type for it so we're gonna put in here uh, this is gonna be CG point so what our array is gonna do is it's gonna collect uh, CG point uh, type values and let's see what the complaint is right here uh, okay we're actually supposed to do this kind of forgot there we go so now what we're doing is we're specifying the type of values that we can put into the array and it's only going to be these type of values and then we're basically just initializing it with uh, nothing in here so we can actually go ahead and use our uh, touches began statement down here so let's uncomment out uh, this part of it and what we'll do is every time we touch down on the screen we're going to take my array and we're going to append in there the location so at some point we're going to want to be able to see the the contents of this array and so we're not kind of like always seeing it i mean i could spit it out in this update statement down here um let's uh let's do this we'll say if location dot x is less than 20 which is going to be on the far left side of the screen so if it's anywhere over there then what we'll do is we'll print out the entire contents of our array which is something that you can do you can kind of look at it all at once if you want so let's uh, run this and what we'll do is we'll just kind of stab at the screen here a bunch of times boop, 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 boop. and then let's click over here on the far left and sure enough it is showing us our array and this is all the values that we just all the CG point values that we just uh, put into it and you'll notice that uh, so the first one here was 500 you kind of ignore the decimal part of it uh, 500 and 464 so that was the X value of where I tapped down on the screen and that's that was the uh, Y value uh, of it so that is um, that's how you can append the items inside of there and you know I guess too if we wanted we could we could have every time we touch down we could have just at least printed out the actual uh, location as well but um, uh, then you know what from there you know the sky's the limit you could have uh, you could iterate through the um, the touch locations just like we did with um, our other ones our other uh, iterating through the string variable so I could say four um, point in my array and from here I could then run an if statement and we'll say if point dot x now keep in mind that because I put I specified these are gonna be CG point values in here when I say four point in my array it knows that point is gonna be a CG point variable so it's actually letting me get an X and a Y value out of this so uh, if I, I could say if um, yeah, let's say if Y is less than 100 I'll just print out a statement here it says uh, print and then uh, Y was less than 100 okay so let's run this now okay so I'm just gonna tap a whole bunch of times tap 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 and then finally of course I'm gonna go over here to my location.x being less than 20 so that's gonna show me whatever is in there right now and obviously I didn't uh, tap at any place that was actually uh, less than 100 which is somewhat surprising uh, let's see is it, would that be because well let's just try greater than 100 I'm not exactly sure what the coordinates are in the scene where I put the anchor point stuff like that so let's just go ahead and tap a whole bunch of places now come over here and well of course this time around <laughs> it should be the Y was greater than 100 but uh, we did see that uh, my points inside of there were at, at, <laughs> they at least were getting added up and we satisfied uh, this condition so really Y was greater than 100 in this case so there you go that's um, some of the stuff that you can do with an array and I will see you guys in the uh, next video